Hi people, um, this is, um, this isn't going to be a review or anything like that, this is actually just to outline a few problems that I've had with the Fleur 1. Um, and basically this is still charging after three hours. Um, and in the manual um, it says, and I'll read it out to you, charge the Fleur 1 trademark with the included USB power cable. One included USB power cable. The LED next to the USB connection, which is this one here, blinks on and off while a FLIR is charging, or FLIR, sorry, that's how you pronounce it, is charging, and stays on continuously when is it is fully charged. Now, this has been on for <coughs> the first time I charged this, I left it on for about 12 hours, and it was still blinking. Um, now... I have no idea how long you're supposed to leave it on for the first charge, but it also so the thing is, I don't no idea how long to keep it on for the first charge. But um, I have to sleep at night, and I don't like to leave things switched on while I'm sleeping. It's a fire hazard. So this came out of the I switched it off, unplugged it. Um, anyway, so it says here: Note iOS model the power cable. For an iPhone with a lightning connector will not work with a Fleur 1. Okay, that's fair enough. Ensure the Fleur 1 is fully charged before using for the first time. A charging cycle takes approximately one hour. Now, where's this continuous light then if it's uh, one hour? Um, you know, I mean, like I say, uh, this was on for 12 hours on the first charge. I never plugged it into the phone, didn't do anything like that. Um, I tried it for a few hours with the switch on the opposite side on and I tried it with the switch but so the LED was lit and the other half was off because I thought oh there's a problem here so I wonder if it's me I wonder if it's my fault so I tried it I've tried it both ways um, okay so this is the this is a problem with the charging light now the problem there um, is quite an important one because you could ruin the battery quite easily um, <clears throat> if you overcharge a unit, it's like anything, any, anything, if you overcharge anything, um, it's, you could ruin the battery. Now, without any indication that you've actually, that it, that it is actually fully charged, um, it's easy to do this. And it's also easy to undercharge it and not give it the full, um, charge, the full cycle each time. So that is a major issue with these FLIR units. Um, the second thing is, um, I'm going to pan out um, a bit here so you can see what I'm doing. Just move that up. Um, this, my trade is an uh, electronics engineer, which is what I'll be using this for, if you're wondering what all that gear in the background is. Um, so I'm going to unplug this now. I'm going to just use it. Now, the chances are it's, you know... Um, so... So I go into the app, FLIR1, FLIR1, sorry, um, still not used to the pronunciation. Uh, so, okay, so it wants me to switch it on. Okay, the light's orange on the side. Now, that's not the charging light, that's the power switch light. Um, so we're just coming in now, and let's have a look. Okay, so here we go. Now, this is the second problem now. I'm just going to pan around here and I hope you can see this. See that glitch? And it flashes. Yeah? Now this happens in every mode. Um, so, and it's often. So you cannot do a video. You cannot do, you cannot record video with this. Um, if you just wait a moment, it will go back to the... Um, Let's change the temperature. Let's go on to one of these. It's a bit. There you go. There's the glitch and the big flash. Um, okay, I'll change the color temperature. This is my my light. So yeah, that's 31 degrees. Okay. So uh, just wait for a little moment longer. Um, I hope you can see this. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here. Uh, Okay, so, yeah, there's the glitch, there's a flash. Okay, so that's three times in a few minutes, right? Now, there is a way to cure this. You can go into the um, the settings and you can 
click on automatic calibration and switch it off. Now that will disable the, the glitch. You won't have the glitch anymore. But then what happens is when it needs to calibrate, so let's just change the, I'm just going to move it up so it's in and down to a different temperature range. When it actually needs to calibrate, what happens is, you, I mean, you can see there now, it's it's fine. It's not doing that glitch at all. Um, but what happens is that there you go. This is the the light here. Now I'm going to just move this in. Now I'm not sure if this is going to auto focus or not. Um, yep, you see this light here. Now you have to manually calibrate. So you click that. And what happens? Eee, you get the glitch in the flash. So whichever way around you do it, okay, you get a little bit more time if you do the manual calibration. Um, but then you have the problem of obviously it's not calibrated, and you're gonna um, it's gonna mess up, and it's not gonna read the temperature properly, um, so on and so forth. Now, for a lot of the projects that I do, I don't need pinpoint accuracy on the temperature, but um, But that's not the point of the exercise. The point is, um, it, you get this flashing, and it makes it impossible to record a video because it's uh, it flashes all the time. I've emailed FLIR, uh, the company that makes this camera, and I'm waiting for a response. Now, hopefully, um, they will get back to me and they will resolve the issue. There's probably something that I've not done at my end. There's probably some a problem with this particular unit. It could be that. It, they might need to send out a replacement um, unit. Or it could be something entirely, you know, it could be something that these units are like this as standard. And if that's the case, I would strongly recommend looking elsewhere for one, you know. I really don't want to say that because I have every faith in FLIR products because I have seen some of the higher end ones but this was the one that I wanted um, not simply for the price but for the the fact that it's on the phone and you can email stuff straight away instantly and here we go we're gonna have to manually calibrate once again I don't know how long that's been on because I've been talking flash there you go so um, yeah that's it okay I'm gonna end the video there uh, but thanks for watching and um, yeah and if you want one of these I strongly recommend you um, you shop around. These look brilliant on paper, but the actual um, in use, it's, it doesn't tell you on paper that it's going to glitch every few seconds. It's going to pause, glitch, make videos impossible to record, um, make the panoramics impossible to do as well. If, if you're lucky and you, and you do a panoramic, uh, within the time between the glitches then that's fine you know there's always workarounds for everything but um, I would highly recommend you shop around and try these out yourself and make sure they don't have this um, auto calibration problem um, and stuff like that so yeah okay again thanks for watching and Hopefully FLIR will do something about it and I'll update the video once uh, once I hear back from them and see, you know, where, where they stand on this and stuff like that. Um, okay, bye for now.